There are confirmed shark sightings in the special exhibition hall at the American Museum of Natural History. And there's a great diversity of sharks that I think a lot more amazing and interesting than people know. Lori Halderman wants to help you take another look at sharks. Consider the shark side of the story. We want to create a little sense of mystery as you walk in the door. It's a little dark and the sharks are swimming and you're not quite sure how you should feel. You come around the corner and you see this guy. Okay, that's scary. Meet the Megalodon, which means big tooth. This model is actual size of the now extinct shark, known as the biggest predatory fish of all time. Now that distinction goes to the great white, which certainly has a reputation. The new exhibit wants to put things in perspective. Shark attacks are rare. Hippos actually account for more dangerous run-ins, and mosquitoes are the deadliest creatures on the planet. Shark-like fishes go back 400 million years, way before dinosaurs. Sharks have long suffered from being misunderstood. It probably has something to do with all those teeth. Sea sharks of all shapes and sizes, fossils from the permanent collection, and interactive exhibits. No swimming required. We always are listening to our visitors and what they want to know about. So sharks is a sweet spot for us because people are really interested, very enthusiastic. But they don't really know that much. In fact, people come in thinking, oh, sharks, scary, dangerous to me. Hang out with dozens of life-size sharks from 5 inches long to 33 feet, built from the inside out by staff at the museum. They perfected every last detail. This is the first temporary exhibition that the museum has opened since the pandemic. So we're thrilled to have a new exhibit open. We hope everybody will come and check out the sharks.